there everyone fluffy here um back with the unboxing as you could tell in the title um i'll do the unboxing uh some of these i know what they are some of them i don't um they most of them there's four boxes here and three of the boxes were sent by the kid uh and one box i got in and i'm going to unbox that one last uh then i'll talk about a little bit where i've been uh, so let's get started. I apologize for being gone so long, but it, in the end, I'll explain where I've been. So, um, let me kind of move this back so I'll kind of have room to, yes, I got some shut up Mona and shut up Mona. <laughs> this one, I know what it is. And since I'm unboxing everything else, I thought I'd just open it. I, I told y'all about this one. This is the one that we were having a conversation and I told her that I was out and then I would order myself some soon, and I guess soon wasn't good enough, so she had this shipped in the day, and I haven't drank any, and that'll be explained why. came as a gift but she didn't write a note what what's up with that <laughs> what's up with that but I love these things when you have a gift wrap I got three of these now I love it. I gotta think of what to do with them so if I do giveaways and they happen to be in this forget you saw it in this unboxing okay <laughs> pretend let's pretend And by looking at this, this, this isn't what I normally uh, buy. But we're going to try this one. I use, I usually the Wild Time Tea. So this is a different brand. So um, we'll see how this one works for me. I'm sure that it'll be fine. Boo Boo, you can't have the tea. Okay, you smell it first, okay? You too, Molly? Okay. So it opens like that. Isn't that the cutest little box, though? It opens like that. And then it comes like this. I'll close that. So, Ooh, it smells different than the other one. This one smells more time-like. It's weird. Oh, Buddha teas. Well, well. A savory, sweet, herbal experience. Tea for trees. So we'll give it a try, y'all. We'll, I'll put it right here. Okay. I really like these bags. They're really quality. When they say gift wrap, I thought it would be paper. Now, one of these, I know what it is, but she wouldn't tell me what the other one was. My daughter knows the ins and outs of Amazon Prime. We're both Prime members. And they're constantly sending her promotional items, so she really gets good deals. She call they call them lightning deals. You know, Big Brother is always watching, so you search anything. And... This box, I don't know what's in it, so. All right, let's see. Start off with, oh, this is heavy. Exfoliant foot peel mask, simple way to baby soft and smooth feet. It's lavender scented. Well, she's awful confident I can reach my feet. <laughs> Well, I can put socks on, so I guess I can. Yeah, it's funny, y'all. That was funny, y'all. Laugh. Laugh. Uh. God, I'm tired. This is not for you. I know. I know it sounds like I'm opening up a treat box. Yes.
Wow. There's only two of them. So it looks like they're socks. See that? Oh, yeah. And I'll have to have my readers off. I can't smell the lavender through, so it's like, they're like, it's like foil, brushed foil, so. Oh, I can't wait to try that. I'll put a mask on my face, put it on my feet, and the dogs better leave me alone. And I'm going to need it. And after I tell you what's been going on, I'll, you'll know. Fluffy, you're going to need it. <laughs> you're going to need it. She said it wasn't a mama care package, but uh, it's looking like a mama care package. what I have her home this month. Ona Pro Moisturize Neutralize Odor Naturally Block. What's she trying to say? What's she trying to say? <laughs> I think it's those cream deodorants. She wouldn't embarrass me by because she said I could if I wanted to I could. Ooh, ooh. Oh, I wonder if this is air freshener. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to put you on hold, and I'm going to go get my readers if I don't knock over these boxes, because I'm curious about this. I think that it's a room refreshener. Hang on. I'll be right back. I apologize. I should have been, I been uh, prepared, and I'm not, so hang on, y'all. Okay, I'm back. Now I got my readers. Yes, I'm going four eyes. Somebody asked me, are you wearing two pairs of glasses? Yes. All these do is correct my double vision. They keep me from seeing two of everything. These are my readers. And they asked if they could put these in this. And they never did. So I don't know if that was a yay or nay. But my now my new doctor is going to let me see an eye doctor again. I'm sure he thinks that this problem is because of my diabetes. But it's not. It's my fault. So to be able to read, I need these. So hopefully they can put these as bifocals. So I don't, stupid. Okay, that's Spanish. Ona Block is an environmentally friendly, industrial strength, essential oil based odor neutralizer designed to eliminate a wide spectrum of odors. Ona is safe to use around people pets and plants okay so it's a home it's a room deodorizer directions remove the cap and place the block in affected area on a block evaporates slowly to eliminate odors used in small applications So I don't know if you, I have to look it up. So I don't know if you scoop some out because it's just a, see it? So I'll have to ask her what she knows about it. But it's for the room and it smells really good. It smells unusual, but not ucky, you know? All right, we'll keep these handy. Okay, so let's see what else we got. It is tug. Oh, it's um, a tongue brush. Okay, y'all, what is my kid trying to tell me? I, th I think I'm good. <laughs> uh, look at the weird brush. It's called tongue. I thought it said tug, but the N is kind of to brush your tongue. I, I use my toothbrush after I get through brushing my teeth, but I think this is, it smells, what is that? Oh, it smells real good. It smells like that clear gel stuff, that old, old, uh, or one of the original uh, toothpastes, and it was the first clear one. We used to buy it because it looked cool because it was clear. I can't remember. I keep wanting to say Pepsodent. Now that, it might be Pepsodent. Here's another something gift wrap she had done. 
enjoy the gift. She wants to pamper her mama. This is it, this is a care package, y'all. It's not like it's a care package, but like before. Sappo Organic and Handmade Bamboo Charcoal Soap with Grapefruit Essential Oil. You know, uh, charcoal soap is really good, y'all. Um, she had bought me some from uh, Walmart. It lasted a long time, and it really got me clean. Mm, ooh. You can smell the blacks, the charcoal soap, but it's not like your charcoal briquettes. But you can smell that grapefruit. Isn't that cool? That's cold processed soap, I can tell. Okay. What else we got? Well, she got me two, so maybe one's hers. And here's the second one. One's purple and one's pink. So uh, she can have the purple one. Because <laughs> uh, she said that she had bought some stuff for herself, but she said that the stuff that's coming today, which I didn't see anything on the door, but the dogs were barking a little while ago, and I haven't checked the door, but she said the rest of everything that was coming was for herself. She can get when she gets back. So, fitnessery, fitness, uh, this must be for her, <laughs> but I'll open it. Gotta be for okay, it comes with that. Oh, I think I already know what it is. This has gotta be for her because she just knows that I'll roll it down and never come back. It's the one wheel and the bar with the cap. And I think it's where you put the bar and you hold it. And you go roll it down and, you know, to do a push-up and stuff. Ain't no way I'm doing that. <laughs> if this is for me, thank you, kid. I love you, but um, I'm going to re-gift it to you. <laughs> Have a feeling this is hers because she knows her mama's lemons. And that's okay. Now you can see what she bought herself. And this stuff right here with the tea was enough. Now, unless she got the delivery and stuff wrong, well, okay, okay. This last item I know about, this last item from her. Why isn't it going back? Let's put it right there. Uh, I have to put it right there. I'll work on it later. Okay. This is a big box. Open it. Okay, let's see. This, yeah, this is her book. She thought it was coming tomorrow. And maybe she's thinking things are coming separately because that's normally what happens. But this is her book because she said, I got a book and she said something else and I can't remember. Oh, yeah. 
This one is for Sito. And she sent something early and told me I could get into it because it was in an envelope and it was just an orange little squishy ball that she got for like a buck. And so she said, go ahead and open that. Y'all, my plug for that is right here and every time I move it, tries to unplug it. Look, y'all. It is a hoodie for Sito. Okay? But look, y'all, what it says in the back. <laughs> it's all black, so that's not really good for his thingy, but she said she got such a good deal on it, she just couldn't resist it. She, it's, it'll be ready for next year because he's done growing. He'll grow out and in, depending on how much I feed him, but... You know, I've been trying to be good about it. So that's real cute. And yeah, this last thing that she sent, I knew about it. Because she said she got it in a lightning deal. She goes, Mama, I know you've been wanting to, you know, wanting one and to weigh yourself. And so what it is, is the digital scale. She got a good deal on it. So she went and got it because I priced these at Walmart. And while some of y'all, well, no, that's not a bad price yet. That's not a good one. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to open it like this. It opens like this. Turn it off, did I? Okay. Look, y'all, how pretty. I don't know what this is. Just take to the bottom. I have to read the instructions. I'm good at reading instructions. <laughs> but I read instructions. Look at y'all. Isn't that pretty? So I'll have to weigh myself and see how it is compared to, I'm kind of scared in case I haven't lost weight. <laughs> Fluffy, you just be thinking you lost some weight. <laughs> it's your shirts that's making you look that way. Ooh, that was not good on the concrete. What is this, y'all? It's not food, no. And then some for some reason you stick it in here. So I mean I don't know why you would stick it in there. That's what it is. And then you loop it around. It's probably not like long enough to get around me right now <laughs> I'm just being honest y'all I'm being a smart ass but I'm being honest I haven't lost that much weight Fluffy I haven't lost that much weight I know <laughs> y'all you saw my y'all are not on my Instagram I post a lot of pictures and I got my blood at one point down to one 104 it's the only time it was at 104 but I'm working on it This one I knew about, this was actually a suggestion because I was joking around with, you know, on one of my videos, and I don't know if y'all read comments or not, but this person's like, yeah, there is such a thing, it's called this and this. So I looked it up, it's a little pricey, and you can't buy just one bag of it. You have to buy it by the six pack. So I did, so I hope I don't hate it. <laughs> Because it'll be giveaway time. No. <laughs> what it is. Okay, it feels like powder. Is. Low carb, low calorie rice. And I looked it up. The, uh, the stats on it. On, on a. 
Amazon. And uh, it's a good source of fiber. You can use it as um, a thickener. Let's see. You drain the water from the pack and rinse the rice under cold water. Add to your favorite soups, stew sauce, stir fry salad. Boil for five minutes. Drain and add to favorite. Oh, okay. Step one, step two, or boil for five minutes, drain and add to fa add favorite ingredients. Or dry, dry fry in a nonstick pan for five minutes and add to favorite ingredients. So four carbohydrates for three quarters of a cup drained. So, and their servings per container are two. There are, there's four carbohydrates per serving, but the dietary fiber is four. So this is carb free. Yeah, and it's made from a root. Uh, keep a cool, dry place. Do not freeze. Once open, uh, keep in clear water for a maximum of two days. So you really, you really want to use it basically when it's open. And there's six of these. You get six of these for like 25, 26 bucks. Seems a little pricey for me, but if it keeps me away from the rice, because I do have rice here, I've been able to resist for now. Serve with your favorite curry. USDA certified organic. Uh, it is organic kaniyaku flour and organic oat fiber. Jurat. J-U-R-O-A-T. So it is a root. Ready in two minutes. So I'm going to try it. I think it was Marie Ince. You know, I'm bad when I just, I swear up and down it's one person. <laughs> and it ends up being for a different person. So I have a friend whose uh, husband is diabetic. And um, she was the one that did a stir fry with the cauliflower rice. And so I got that idea because she said, hey, you know, her husband's part Korean. And oh, it's, it's a bag in a bag. Uh, the other one was not a bag in a bag, the noodles, y'all. So I'm going to give her one of these for her hubby to try. So uh, it's see if he likes it. And then he, she'll, she can look it up herself and, and get it if he likes it. But I thought I'd, she'd try it. If somebody if somebody else had tried it, you know, I wish, like, in my area they give me one. Because if I hate it, I'm going to be mad. And it says to drain the water. And those noodles, the Miracle Noodles, are in water and it's fishy. So I'm hoping this doesn't have a fishy taste. So we will see. Okay, this next part uh, is a prayer request, and I'm trying to get through it. It's where I've been, and so um, I asked for permission to ask for prayers for this person, uh, and they told me yes, and I said I would give out very few details due to privacy on their part, yada, yada, yada. The prayer request is for my sister. Um, she had been sick over this past weekend, you know, vomiting the other way and just feeling really bad. And uh, she started feeling even worse, uh, stubborn like I am, although maybe I would have agreed to go sooner. Uh, you know, my brother-in-law, her daughter, kept trying to get her to go, to go, to go. And finally, she was getting so, in such a bad way that, you know, he finally told her, you know, if in the morning you're not better, I'm taking you. You can fight me, you know, left and right. And um, so he called me. I woke up to a missed call from him, the brother-in-law, and their daughter. And I'm thinking, wow, they never call me. What's up? And I'm thinking my mother, you know. So I call them both, and uh, they said that uh, they, the brother-in-law had taken my sister, it's my older sister, to the emergency room. So same hospital as where Sarge has been. So um, so this was yesterday. And so I went up there, stayed all day. Uh, um, it was hard to see her like that. Anyway, um, they admitted her and um, they're running just a whole slew of tests. Um, right now, they don't know what's going on. Um, they're treating her generally until they can figure out 
what's going on. Um, I stayed till probably about seven o'clock last night from yesterday morning, and then I came home and this morning, uh, uh, my mom and the daughter, her daughter, uh, my sister's daughter, and I went up there and spent most of the day. I left at about um, four o'clock. So I would ask for prayers for her um, that the doctors can find out, you know, what's going on uh, and, uh, so they can kind of narrow it down and, and get her to feeling better. She is feeling a little bit better with some of the treatment they've given her. So, um, but she's nowhere near out of the woods yet. So hopefully they can find out uh, what's going on. And uh, as they will allow me to update you, I will. They may just say, no, what you've said is enough. Uh, and if that happens, then I'll we'll let you know when, it, you know, if and when she can get out of the hospital. So I anticipate that she's going to be there um, at least for a few days, uh, at least until they can figure out what's going on. So um, I'm very tired. That's why you really haven't seen me, but... I wanted to do this unboxing um, because, you know, the kid had sent me the stuff and it's just been against the wall because it was it came like yesterday and the day before. And so um, I said, no, I'll, I'll do the unboxing. I've got everything together and uh, et cetera. So I went ahead and did it and just wanted to ask y'all, just please keep her in your prayers. Um, I would appreciate it. Um, so that's where I've been. That's where I'm uh, going to be right now. I'm just just really too tired to cook. Um, if I get some energy later to throw something together uh, mukbang worthy, then um, I will do a mukbang because I haven't done one in some time. And I know those are your favorite uh, videos of mine uh, to watch. So I haven't forgotten about you. I'm sorry if I'm neglecting you, but that's, you know, uh, where I've been, you know, at the, at the heels of, um, helping out, you know, Sarge and Mrs. Sarge, which I would do it again. Um, uh, matter of fact, last night, uh, she, you know, checked on me cause she knew I was, you know, back in the ER with my sister and, uh, she was telling me a story and, uh, um, she, you know, she was telling me a story and, you know, that the wife had gone to work and yada, yada, yada. And I just knew uh, that she was going to say, you know, hey, I need to go back to the ER. Uh, but, you know, Mrs. Sarge is at work. And uh, it ended up ne not being that. But I was told her, I said, you know what? I thought at the end of this conversation, you were going to tell me that you needed to go back to the ER. I said, and I'm tired, but I said, I'd have told you, just let me get my phone charged up and, you know, and I'll come get you. <laughs> So uh, I'm surprised nobody recognized me, but uh, I do it happily. It's what people need. I, I can drive, you know, I, that's, I can do that. Uh, so I don't mind, but um, it's, uh, I'm tired, but it's well worth it. I have no regrets and, and I keep going back, you know, I'll be back over there tomorrow. And if, if Sarge needed me to take her tonight or tomorrow, I certainly would. Uh, so having said that, God bless y'all. Positive vibes out to each and every one of you. Remember to always be kind and be your own advocate. I will talk to y'all real soon, okay? Bye.